I'm finally making a video about my Spider-Man figures. Finally. You guys have been asking for this in every single video. Make a video about this. Explain this. Why does this figure look like that? Well, as the great Aziz from Joe's Pizza said. Now before you ask me, which program do you use? I want to let you know that I use many different programs for different things and one of them is Filmora 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 for videos like this where there's a mix of video footage and stop motion and fonts I use Wondershare Filmora so if you are a beginner or an intermediate editor this is perfect to create your short films or your stop motions this editing software has expanding effects titles and transitions that just that just makes the difference man if you're lazy like me Filmora already has pre-made motion graphics and filters and the ultimate and spicy motion, motion trucking, trucking. Masking. masking speed, speed ramping. ramping so get the latest version Filmora 11 and you'll also be able to use free stock photos videos and gifs gifs i i say gifs so if you want a free trial SMASH COMPLETELY DESTROY that link in the description and start to make things happen. Peace. 2002 Spider-Man So, here's the story behind this. I used to live in a very shitty apartment. There was this old um, Vietnamese couple and turns out the, the old man, he owned action figures for some reason. And so he just gave me that. Look at those details. Look. You know, back then everything was hand sculpted by uh, Toy Biz. And um, I mean, it shows. This thing looks awesome. I mean, <laughs> okay. I mean, not everything was good. I mean, look at that face. That is the face of, of a serial killer. That's the face of a guy who collects spiders. The joints are still pretty good, and um, the base is awesome. After 10, 20 years. Wow, 20 years. 7 out of 10. 2004, Spider-Man 2. So of course, this is my favorite Spider-Man movie of all time. But this is a combination of different Spider-Man 2 figures. Repainted the lenses and then sprayed everything with a matte coat. You know again, this is hand sculpted and I think this era was really special for, for for collectors and um, people realize it now but back then it was a uh, it was a norm really and I created a custom ball joint underneath which allows him to have this head And also that. I don't know what happened in my head when I did this, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it at that. So this one is um, not the same figure, actually. This is from the super articulated Spider-Man 2 Toy Biz action figure. This look is inspired by the No Way Home look, so I've decided to paint the lenses shiny silver that also has a bluish tint to it. And so the difference is also made those removable hands so that I could switch easier. Tobey Maguire Spider-Man has those shiny lenses that are just completely silver or he has those that have like this shaded look so here it is 
Which one do you prefer? Please comment below which one do you like more? I I think I'm on Team Silver because sometimes it looks great, especially in Spider-Man 3, where you can see the reflections. Do you like Burger King? Yeah. Yeah, big boy, Spider-Man. I mean, I, I found this at the flea market for, I don't know, a couple bucks. You know, maybe $2 or $5, can't remember. Yep, that is me with a thick amount of snow around me because I'm in Canada. This is just a big chunky, chunky, chunky boy. boy. Spider-Man, so 10 on 10. 2007, Spider-Man 3. A bully? What am I doing? Two thousand twelve, the amazing Spider-Man. So actually, this summer is uh, the tenth anniversary of this movie. Of course, it was used in my Spider-Man vs. Lizard video ten years ago. So wow, man, I'm getting old. I think it was for a while the only Amazing Spider-Man figure that was available in the market. So everybody had that figure, and honestly, look at this, the details. The articulation, I mean, at that time, that shit was legendary. It's even better than the six inch figure that they made later on that was an exclusive. My weakness, it's small knives. Funny. So here's the 6 inch version, which I've completely, completely customized. I mean, this guy doesn't even look like what he used to. The articulation has changed, the colors, but one thing that I can say that this one nails is uh, the sculpt. The sculpt is really cool. You've got the honeycomb shape patterns. You've got the baseball texture. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Um, but... You know, without the modifications, this shit sucks. But it's still cool to have the um, this costume. I mean, I, I really like this costume. And we'll have this debate later on when we get into... Well, let's get into it now. 2014, The Amazing Spider-Man 2. You know what? I'm gonna give this one a chance. Um, um, the light type pink doesn't work anymore. Uh... <laughs> Raised webs, they've sculpted the raised webs. Articulation, okay, the arms can, 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 and he kind of looks chunky too. I mean, who knows, maybe that's Andrew Garfield in like 10 years from now. Maybe he's gonna look like that, who knows? Maybe this is um, accurate to Amazing Spider-Man 4. Come on, oh my god. Oh god, I wish it wasn't true, but it is. You're ridiculous! Oh my god. Gosh. Life can be okay sometimes. Life can be really nice. That was one of the, the best moments of my life. So, Mr. Um, Mr. Backcracker here. Okay, so this figure has a notorious reputation. This thing is as expensive as, as Morbius' entire box office. It looks great, but quality-wise, this shit kind of sucks. But man, look at this metallic paint. Wonderful. I mean, it looks too orange for my liking. I think Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man is more of a magenta look. And it's the only good figure of Andrew Garfield Spider-Man out there, so... I still love it. <laughs> and look at the sculpt. Love this. Love this, man. Also, those are my favorite web shooters. And that sound... Ooh, 
and all of you fake fans who are coming back to Andrew Garfield just because of No Way Home, you guys deserve a pillow that is hot on both sides during summer. Here's debate number one. Which suit do you like better? So this is from The Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2. I'm Amazing Spider-Man 2 guy, sorry, I mean this suit, I think it's just perfect. So comment below and please, be violent to each other. No peace. Spider-Man Spider Homecoming. Homecoming, which is actually... But I think it's growing on me through time. Yeah, I think it's growing on me. I like it more now. So this figure is actually, was actually really hot at its time because that was when Mafex decided to just wake up. So the proportions are like both wonky wonky and great. So you know, it has the bubbly chest, which is, which looks weird. But other than that, the proportions are, are kind of perfect. Ah, the good old days, huh? 2016, back when Civil War was the hype. Kind of missed those days, back when I made uh, Civil War stop motions. 2019, Spider-Man 4 from Home. Spider-Man's name is Peter Parker. What the, what the, what the, what the. So this figure, everybody keeps asking me, how, how does yours look like that? I don't hear it. How does yours look like that? Listen. <laughs> so, so Far From Home is probably my least favorite Spider-Man movie because of how distant and empty it feels so I never rewatched it so this wrist joint has been entirely replaced with another one that's from SH figure Wars. so 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 it's a shame that it's red but that's all I got in my bin and I repainted the hands that came with it and I made my own set of hands the next joint I've created a ball joint system so that you can rotate while having the disc joint for his up and down movement. Back! My back! The Iron Spider. I think this is my favorite uh, Tom Holland Spider-Man figure of all time. I mean, just look at this. It's freaking gorgeous. 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 Metallic. You, I've heard a lot from Mafex's um, Iron Spider, the absolutely terrifying stories I've heard of the spider legs, but these ones just work. SH Figure Arts, they nailed that shit. Absolutely killed it. Um, I had no QC issues. The metallic paint is consistent and clean. Everything just looks crisp on this thing. I mean, it's got the butt cheeks, you've seen it early on. Weird crotch system, I'm not gonna lie. But without that, I couldn't have done those. those <laughs> also comes with a bunch of accessories and um, a head sculpt. Tom Holland, so... Which one looks better? I'm on Marvel Legends side. Sorry, but... Yup, I mean, look at this. 2021, see Spider-Man Spider no way. Bro, I can feel the hype just by thinking about this movie. I mean, look at this. Look. So this is the spider suit that was modified by Dr. Octavius. I believe I took out his iron spider gauntlets because they were based on the concept rather than the movie design. And then I sculpted the gaps, yeah, and repainted, and that's about it. I mean, yeah. Also, you can fit the Infinity War uh, Tom Holland head sculpt. No bitches? Yeah. Oh, you almost got me.